From the most expensive properties to properties that need a little love, we're gonna take a look at real estate in different neighborhoods in Chicago to see what real estate is really selling for. Welcome to part five of this video series, and today we're gonna take a look at the Logan Square and the Humboldt Park neighborhoods. And of course, we're gonna look at all property types, and that includes single family homes, townhomes and condos, and two to four unit properties. So let's start looking at some real estate. Let's take a look at the famous popular Logan Square neighborhood, see what real estate is going for there. So for a single family home in Logan Square, you're averaging about a million dollars. And let's see, for a townhome, you're gonna average about 636,000. And condos, you're averaging about 467,000. Now let's look at two to four unit properties and you're at 645,000. Now let's see what's really for sale in Logan Square. Single family homes, we've got 19 matches. The cheapest being 1822 North Kimball, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 62 days has been for sale. Let's see what it looks. Okay, just kind of regular on the outside. You get inside and, uh, you know, there's no baseboard trim. So that kind of tells me all I need to know about down here. Is this the, this looks like the basement unit. Okay. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the basement. So you don't even have any pictures of the first floor. I think that tells me all I need to know. All right, let's take a look at the next one for 480, fabulous location, hot Logan Square. It's been for sale for 125 days, so let's see what's going on. And okay, it doesn't look that bad. The flooring doesn't look bad at all. Okay, got the uh, hardwood flooring, could use a little shine, could use a paint job, but nice fireplace. All I see is cosmetic stuff so far. Kitchen's definitely older. Kitchen could use a facelift. All right, bathroom looks kind of kind of awkward, to be honest, but I guess all it's missing is a shower rod, one of those curved shower rods. Then you get upstairs, and okay, this property really isn't that bad. Just a few updates. And if you're looking to get into Logan Square, where everything else costs a lot much and single-family homes average a million dollars, this might be worth investing into. This one might be worth it just to buy so you can get into the area at the lowest price possible and then fix everything up the way you want it and voila. So let's see what else we got. Let's see what we can find for, let's see what 759 gets us. Attention builders, new construction development opportunity. Okay. And yeah, not much. Not much going on there. I mean, they won't even give us all the picture. Pictures of the entire home, okay. Let's see what's happening here. This one has a tenant, so I don't care. And now we're at, already at 949, so. Unique gym located on the lovely tree line, Bucktown Street. 76 days. Mm, looks pretty good. It yeah, looks pretty nice. All right, this one uh, is definitely more modern, more move-in ready. Yeah, don't have to put that much work into this one at all. This looks like a good home. So yeah, it looks like if you want a single family home anywhere near Logan Square, you're gonna have to be close to that million dollars. Now let's take a look to see what condos and townhomes they have for sale. So the most affordable one being this three bedroom, one bathroom condo on 2501 North Avers. Just came on the market, been for sale for six days. Let's take a look at these pictures. And let's see, okay, okay. Yeah, this is nice. Kitchen's a little older, but Everything's clean. Everything looks good. See, even if the property is, isn't in brand new, like modern updated condition, if you just cleaned it, it would look so much better. And see these people, you can tell took care of their property. So it just shows a lot better in photos. So just FYI for people trying to sell that deep clean is worth it. Let's see what's the most expensive they got. This condo duplex, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. 
this looks more spacious than the homes that they have for sale so but for 1.3 million it better be so okay we've got the uh the penthouse suite and of course everything in here is modern updated looking great got the uh looks like quartz countertops at the nice fireplace we got the matching countertop in the sink got the balcony yeah this is this is what you can get once you're over a million that's what you can get so let's see what the average gets us so we're at about 499k so that's 2423 West Fullerton Two bedroom, two bath condo that's been for sale for 148 days. Okay, and yeah, this looks nice. Nice and updated. And of course, remember with Logan Square, you're definitely paying for the neighborhood because it's a very popular neighborhood full of nice restaurants, shopping. It's just a very uh, highly sought after neighborhood in Chicago. When they say highly sought after in Logan Square, that actually goes together. That's actually true, so now let's take a look at some of the two to four unit properties they got most affordable you're gonna get is 3714 west Cortland. fantastic opportunity to own this cozy charming full of character two flat 191 days looks like two two bedroom units let's look at these pictures okay got a nice front porch area Okay, uh, it doesn't look, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, not sure what's going on with that. Is that a, sh looks like a shower rod or something they extended. I mean, it's, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that pipe, but okay. Uh, zoom in a little closer. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's in older condition. The bathroom actually looks pretty nice. Okay, kitchen's older, appliances not matching, you are, that's a red flag, I mean none of it's matching the range hood, it isn't matching the, the stove, it just matching the fridge, so they just, they just piecing it together. But look at this bathroom, it looks pretty nice, walk-in shower look pretty good. And then we got the kitchen in the second apartment, and whoop, 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 what's going on in here? Yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Looks like they just replaced something in the ceiling, but okay. Then we've got the basement. Got a few blurry photos, but it doesn't look like it's too much to see down there anyway. And yeah, that's what you get for 450. That's uh that's about as cheap as you can get. Now let's go a little bit closer to the average. So 2455 North Maplewood, we're at 650. This one's been for sale 78 days. This one's two two bedroom units. One of them's rented out for 1200. This one's looking a little bit better on the outside and yep, the inside looks pretty good too. Got the nice little table set up for you. And kitchen's definitely older. Uh, I say about 90s. Maybe 80s. Uh bathroom looks like it's in pretty good condition got the china cabinet so you know whoever lived here was definitely older or a tenant then you've got this looks like the next floor and you've got the all right yeah that that's about the average so Let's scroll down and uh, let's see. Let's go with the most expensive two unit property. So 2509 Drake, 44 days, huge brick, two flat, duplex down, 40 foot wide lot. All right, look like some pretty big apartments. And all right, we, we starting out with the bathroom, but the bathroom tile looks good. All right, living room, dining room, look Looks like it's in nice condition. Got his work, got the work office set up there. All right, got the bedroom. Looks like it's a pretty good size. Bedroom number two. You got the kitchen. Looks pretty good. Yeah, this one's definitely in better condition. Okay, okay. Yep, bud. Say this one's better condition, but is this one worth almost a million dollars? You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, it is Logan Square, so you have to take the location into account, but 
that's what they're selling for that's how much you're probably gonna have to pay if you want a decent two unit let's take a look at the humboldt park neighborhood for single family homes in humboldt park it looks like we're averaging 295k for a town home we're at 439k and for a condo you're averaging about 300,000 and for two to four unit properties they're averaging 391,000 now let's see what real estate is actually selling for all right let's start out with the single family homes we've got 43 matches let's see what they look like okay we've got one for 89,000 two bedroom one bathroom on 1110 North Lawndale what is this one gonna look like oh just a just a dark block oh 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 yeah full gut rehab yeah just like they said just a just a full gut rehab block house all right, what else we got? 149,000. Located just blocks from the sought after Garfield Park. We've been on the market for 20 days. Four bedrooms, huh? They fit four bedrooms in this house, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's see how they did that. All right, we got the outside. Landscaping looking a little rough, but it does come with the barbecue. Or the barbecue is probably sold separately. You might want to inquire about that. All right, we've got the inside. Eh, doesn't look that bad. You got the, the teal turquoise blue paint. Let me know what you guys think of this paint choice. But honestly, this looks like this was a, a rental property and it looks like the tenants just moved out and the landlord's just trying to get rid of it. All right, but it definitely needs a chair rehab and there's definitely some sort of leak going on up here by this kitchen light. If you want a home for 150000 in Chicago, period, it's probably going to need a little work. Now let's take a look at the most expensive option they have and we got 1725 North Troy for 1,699,000 okay an amazing value and flexible space six total bedrooms five and a half bathrooms been for sale for over a year what's the square footage on this over 6,000 estimated okay let's take a look at this bad boy the most expensive in Humboldt Park. Let's see what that gets you. All right, and then come on with this virtually stays, man. I don't, I don't get it. Like it, eh, whatever. But you get on the inside, everything looks beautiful. Beautiful looking kitchen, nice and spacious. Flooring looking good. Got the nice piano tucked in. Bathroom looking good okay hey yeah, the the home and everything in it everything looks like it's uh look like it's top notch all right after that one we've got 1715 north troy so i guess uh north troy is just an expensive uh an expensive street to live on apparently so it's been for sale for 108 days we're at 948,000. high quality developer created the epitome of modern elegance right right let's see what the epitome of modern elegance looks like and hey, it does look pretty elegant kitchen living room looking nice all right yeah this is a, it's a nice space it's a nice space i'm impressed i'm impressed but if i'm paying almost a million dollars i better be impressed all right but the average was around 295 so let's see what the average gets you and it looks like the average price is lower than a lot of the homes for sale. It looks like most of the homes for sale are over 300. But let's look and see what the average price. 44.25 West Iowa. Let's see what this will get you. Two bedroom, one bathroom. Smaller home. Been for sale for 71 days. But they say it's all updated. And I do believe they are right. Yep, this looks pretty updated now the bathroom they just painted the old school tile but the flooring is new all in all not a bad space not a bad space at all nice little starter home 
All right, but let's go up a little bit. Okay, this one has four total bedrooms, two bathrooms, just for sale, nine days for 310. Remarkable place to call home, nice looking fence. We go on the inside and yep, everything looks pretty new, pretty rehabbed, okay. So it looks like in Humboldt Park for around 300,000, it'll get you a nice rent starter home with everything updated. Now I'm seeing all of these homes up here for sale for over 300. Let's let's look at some of these just to just to really get a look. So let's see 1055 North Drake for 500,000. What does this go for? And okay, they start out with the inside. All right, that's the outside. Why why didn't you lead with the outside first? That's how you're supposed to do it. But the uh inside looks pretty good. Everything's finished. Got the nice skylights on the second floor. Yep, everything's finished here. So for half a million, that's what you can get in the Humboldt Park neighborhood. Let me know what you think. Next, let's take a look at the uh, attached single, which are condos and townhomes. All right, the most affordable being 3921 West Huron Street for 79000 Stop paying rent and become a homeowner. See, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, 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 wait. They say stop paying rent and becoming a homeowner, but if you bought this condo, you have to deal with this tenant on a month to month lease. I don't want to do that, so I'm skipping. All right, the next condo is for 160, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. So it looks like condos here are a lot cheaper than uh, their Logan Square counterparts. Let's see what we got. Okay, looks pretty good on the inside. Looks pretty clean. Yeah, everything looks like it's in working order here. Bathroom's a little bit older, could use updating, but besides that, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Not bad condition. Next, let's go to the two to four unit properties and see what we got see what investment properties we can find. So we've got 726 North Avers, two unit property, attention investors, seller motivated, and also includes two vacant lots to the north, but it's been for sale for a little while. So what's going on on the inside? Okay, pictures are definitely zoomed in to the wall. Can't really see anything besides this wall damage right there. Yeah, you need to fire your photographer because that showed me absolutely nothing. All right, what else we got? For 220 brick three flat, building needs substantial renovation. So I'm guessing they, okay, they were bold enough to show the inside and yeah, they were right. That needs a full gut rehab. Now let's take a look at the most expensive you can get in Humboldt Park right now, and it's a three flat for 750 on 1532 North Harding. Quiet block, second floor remodeled, third floor also updated in 2020. All right, and yeah, it was remodeled, okay. It's rare to see a two flat nice like this or updated to this capacity. Got the nice wainscoting, got the nice cabinets. Bathrooms look good, basement look nice. Okay, they, they put a little money into this, okay. First I was skeptical of the 750, but now I see it, I see it now. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Is it a yes or a no? And looks like the uh looks like this is the next floor, which is this is probably the one that was updated in 2015. And then you got this floor. Okay, not bad at all. Now they say the average price for a two to four unit property is around 391. So let's see what that gets me. So let's go around there. Let's try this one for 389.9. Investment opportunity, West Humboldt Park, lots of potential. 35 days has been on the market. Let's see what the inside looks like. 
Okay, we're starting off with pictures of the garage and two pictures of the staircase, and that's all you get. You want to know what it looks like on the inside? You got to see it. Let me know if you're curious. I'll set up a show, and that's the best I can do. All right, let's try this one for 410. If you're considering an investment opportunity, this multi-unit is for you. It's been for sale for 165 days. We've got two units, a three-bedroom and a two-bedroom. Let's see what this inside looks like. Okay, pretty open, pretty spacious, pretty clean. This isn't bad at all. You can tell they at least cleaned it up, which is a lot better than some listings are. Okay, we got what looks like the basement. Got the flooring, doesn't look too bad. Got the nice recliner so you can relax. All right, got a decent sized kitchen. They didn't quite know whether to go with the popcorn ceiling or to go with the flat ceiling, so they just left a little bit of both. But all right, let me know what you think of this property. This is what the uh, this is what around the average price will get you in Humboldt Park.